Caribbean Connections TV. Hey, it's Paradise and Jackson here for Caribbean Connections. And I'm here at the 30th anniversary Independence Dinner Gala for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Yes, Vincentius is celebrating their 30th anniversary. I'd like to ask um, the President of the United, United States. <laughs> The 40th slip. He, 40th slip, sorry. But I'd like to ask the president of the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Association, Ms. Elba Gabriel, to come and say a few words. Talk about exaltation. To be called the president of the United States, Obama. Wow. <laughs> Honorable guests. His Excellency Sir Frederick Valentine, His Excellency Brendan Brown and Mrs. Brown, Council General Steve Phillips, other dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, I extend to you greetings from St. Vincent and the Grenadines Association of Toronto. St. Vincent and the Grenadines Association of Toronto sees this 30th year of SVG Independent as a journey to be proud of, a future to look forward to. I'm here with the Governor General of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, His Excellency Sir Frederick Valentine. How are you? Fine, thank you. Welcome to Canada again. I'm sure the last time I seen you was at um, the Leia reunion. Yes. Yeah, yes. Cool. I've been back a few times, but I didn't get a chance to see, see you. You didn't look for me, that's oh. why. <laughs> so, 30th anniversary of our independence. Yes. How important is this to Vincentians? Well, I think it's important in the sense that it, we can reflect on, on all we've done in the past right. 30 years. Right. And it's kind of a milestone, you know. We can reflect on the past and see where we are and plan for the future. Right. And we've done some significant things in the past 30 years, which, which we hope we can improve on in the next 30. Do you think it was a rough journey for us? Because 30 years is not a long time. We have far to go, I, I assume. Oh, yes. But, you know, we've we really been, as I said, independent for a long time, you know. Okay. You know, we, we had a break when the colonialists came, but St. Vincent was an independent country when, when Columbus arrived there. But since this independence from Britain, it's, it's not been rough. We've got some financial problems which have been made worse in the past couple of years, but um, I think we're coping well. Did you grow up? Let's talk about the um, Vincentian homecoming. Why is it important for um, Vincentians to come home for the well, 30th? We, um, I think that the people overseas should know that we depend a lot on Vincent on Vincent and the diaspora. They, they really are a part, an integral part of the development of the country. And um, at this, you know, the 30th anniversary is a very important milestone. And we encourage them to come back so that they can be part of the celebration, and that we can also honor them for their contribution. And, you know, just ha let them have a great time and. So we encourage Vincentius to come home for the 30th yes. anniversary. Wonderful. Okay, before you go, where would you like to see us 30 years from now? What have we? What other hurdles do we have to overcome? Well, we still have some hurdles to overcome in poverty alleviation. Okay. We've made significant strides in that, but I'd like to see a, com a country where there's no poverty. Oh, yeah. I'd like to see a country where we have 100% literacy. Oh, yeah. um, you know, we have we made significant advances in education, yes. and I think that if we can get over those two hurdles or make those two accomplishments, that it would set the base for the society to develop further. Wonderful. Do you think our airport getting that finished will encourage more um, tourism and also Vincentians? 
Oh yeah, that, that, that's an integral part of the development of the country, you know. We, we need good air access and, and once that happens, then we should see hotels and more employment and just general better development of the country. Okay. Why are you so proud to be Vincentian? Why am I so proud to be Vincentian? Yeah. Oh, it's just the greatest country to live in. Yeah. It's just the greatest country. Great people. Um, as I say, proud, dignified people. Right. I can walk, hold my head high anywhere in the world and say, hi, hey, I'm a Vincentian. Yeah. And I love it and I don't want to be anything else. <laughs> Thank you so much for spending Thank some time with us. Thank you. Nice seeing you again. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency is an astute businessman, president of the Heart Association, and co-owner of the Warrior Quinnum Young Island Resort. A man with multifaceted, he still finds time to go fishing, and he has many hobbies. Ladies and gentlemen, I present unto you so Frederick Nathaniel Valentine, an accomplished man of St. Vincent and Grenadines that makes all of us eminently proud. Thank you very much. Tonight, we're here to celebrate St. Vincent's independence. But a lot of what I have to say relates very much to the Caribbean. You know, I consider us as being one people that we need to affirm to ourselves, our children, and the world at large that we as Caribbean people are a proud, dignified people. No better than anyone else, but certainly inferior to no one. The people of the Caribbean have a rich history which we need to acknowledge as we strive to secure our place on the world stage. Independence for us in St. Vincent began some 500 years ago. Many people don't realize that we were independent way before Columbus came there. This was the independence with the Caribs, the Cardinago, and the Gorillas. What we're celebrating today is really a different kind of independence. This was an independence which followed the formal signing of a document between Britain and us some 30 years ago. Tonight, I'd like to share with you briefly some of our accomplishments during the past 30 years, some of the challenges we faced, and my thoughts of some possible solutions. Most of our brains are overseas, so that if we need to solve the problems, and we need the brains, then we have to look overseas. It means then, therefore, that you have to step up to the plate. You, you're not a uh, Vincentian just living in Toronto. Right? You're a Vincentian living in Toronto who has a responsibility to develop St. Vincent and to make life better for all of the Vincentians in St. Vincent. The Honorable Steve Phillips. So how are you today? I'm doing great on this the 30th anniversary of our independence. I know and you look handsome. Thank you. <laughs> this is celebration time. I know. It's amazing. 30 years. 30 years yeah. of tremendous strides upwards. What do you think makes the Vincentian people unique? We have a tradition of being God-fearing, yes. hospitable, yes. courteous, respectful and we have also known we are known to be a people of diligence hard work 